the way you make your path undeniable is by feeling for it on an emotional basis more than thinking for it. You are where you are. You can be hopeful or you can be fearful. You can be hopeful or fearful. Now, so when you separate the reality of what, what is happening from your mood or attitude about it, now you begin to deal with things vibrationally, which is the basis of all things, rather than in terms of action. People will say, where I am is unpleasant, I want to be over there and then I will feel better. And we say, you have to find a way of feeling better or you cannot move over there. And people say, well, give me a reason to feel better and then I'll feel better. And we say, you have to conjure the better feeling. You have to, you guide with vibration and the manifestation follows the vibration. The you that is this eternal, emphatic, important, big vibration. And there's the you that's sitting here in your body having whatever experience you're having. When you merge these two yous, the power of that alignment is such that then you can't miss what you see. If something is a hell yes, then follow it. But if it's not, if it's anything other than a, I really want to do this, then it's equivalent of saying hell no. If it is limp, if it is, if it could go either way, then you haven't done the energy alignment work that is necessary. It's like picking the fruit that isn't ripe and then complaining that it doesn't taste good. And we say, let everything ripen. And the way you let that happen is by working on the thought and getting into, getting it into alignment. Let your work be an emotional journey, not a thinking journey. Don't try to think your way to your projects or to your success. Life and the contrast is what's thrown all that over in vibrational escrow. Do you know that every day that you're living and you know what you don't want, you put another piece of what you do want in it. All of these pieces that you're throwing over there into this vibrational escrow are melding together. The source energy you is becoming them and the picture is beginning to form and you don't have to figure out or dictate the path through which this stuff will unfold. All you have to do is do your best to chill out, do your best to feel good, do your best to appreciate, do your best to feel as good as you can feel, and what's percolating over there in vibrational escrow will say, hey, look over here. And when you look, you won't say, oh, I'm wondering about this. There is no possible way that you are not creating wonderful things, but there is a possibility of any of you being so tied up in the details of whatever it is that you are living that you're holding yourself vibrationally just out of sync with what is lighting up. Everything has the potential of lighting up and lighting up fast. And what your life is supposed to be is just a series of saying, oh, that's the best idea I can find from here. And oh, that's the best idea I can find from here. And oh, that's the best idea I can find from here. And what begins to happen is you begin deliberately turning in the direction of the thoughts that feel better and better and better is that the things that light up are bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more and more exhilarating as they light up. Life is supposed to be fun and will be. It was never supposed to be a struggle. So when you say, I, I can't tell which way decision to make, what that always means is there hasn't been enough reaching for the thought that feels best to come into true alignment with what's already over there in your vibrational escrow. Do you believe us when we say that because of who you were before you were even born, and who you have become as a result of the contrast that you've been living, that there are things ready to pop that would just knock your socks off everywhere you, on, on every subject in the world. What you're thinking and feeling and what manifests are always a vibrational match. So if you wait until something happens, before you see it. We call that post-manifestational awareness. That's like it has to manifest before before you're able to decipher it. But if you are paying attention to the way you feel, you can decipher it before it actually manifests, and that way you don't miss it. 
In other words, by reaching for the best feeling thought on any subject, eventually you train yourself into such alignment with it that then you can't miss it. You get whatever it is that you want, just line up with the idea of it. And if you do the mental work, if you do the work of alignment, then the manifestation, the path through which it will unfold will be delivered to you. But if you get too involved in the details of how or when or who, then you get turned upstream on it, you see. You focus completely on the pleasure of that experience, then you offer no resistance in other words, it's like saying, this is what I want, and in your envisioning of it, you're in alignment with it. So now you're in the perfect place. By thinking of what you want and why you want it, you line up with it. But then as you get involved in how you're going to get there and how long you'll be able to stay and what's going to be happening when you get back, now all of a sudden you've introduced all that resistance to it, which means now you're not a pure signal to what you're asking for. So now it can't happen. Are you getting the sense of this? We understand your desire... <laughs> We understand your desire to be hands-on in the creation, but we want you to be thought-on. We want you to be gut-on. We want you to be emotion-on. We want you to be alignment-on. We want it to be a mental, vibrational, emotional game that you're playing and let the universe orchestrate the circumstances and then you use all your action to enjoy what you've created through your alignment, you see. By getting too detailed in it, you're sabotaging yourself because you keep asking questions that you don't have answers to so it keeps separating you from what you're really wanting feel the difference between i want five hundred thousand dollars tomorrow and i want five hundred thousand dollars eventually or i want five hundred thousand dollars as quickly as it can make its way to me or i need five hundred thousand dollars tomorrow in your more general statement, there's less resistance. In your more specific statement, there's more resistance. Now, the fun of it is, it really gets fun when you can be specific with no resistance. It is so much fun. When you, when you come to the place of trusting these laws and trusting your ability to focus and all I have to do is make an, a statement of request. And in the moment that I make the request, source energy swoops in around it and tends to it. And then my entire work is bringing myself into alignment with what I've been asking for. And the thing that we so much want you to hear is that while it is fun to specify the details of the way you think you want your life to unfold if you will specify the emotional details the feeling details in other words rather than saying i want to be on a beach that has this many buildings and this many tents and this many clothed bodies and this many naked bodies and 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 this temperature of the water and 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 this many uh, uh, concession stands or this absence of people or this presence of people instead if you will say i want to be on a good feeling beach I want to be in a place that feels good to me I want to feel the serenity of my being I want to feel the well-being I want to lie there in the non-restricted environment I want to lie there in the non-contested energy field I want to lie there knowing my well-being and my clarity and feeling the well-being of this planet around me seeing the beauty of the water and feeling the warmth of the sand and knowing the well-being of my being and feeling proud of myself for my life here and and feeling satisfied with who I am and who I've become I want this beach to wrap around me and make me feel the perfection of that which I am as you find those feeling tones there's no resistance and then every other detail that you've been throwing into it all the days of your physical life will be able to be given to you too. So much so that as it unfolds, you'll say, I do not believe that in my wildest dreams I ever could have imagined the perfection of this moment as it is unfolding. If we sat here with you and you only for day after day after day, you would never be able to even come close to articulating the perfection of what's in your vibrational escrow. You don't have the vocabulary and you don't have the time to offer the details of it. But we want you to know that it is there. We want you to know that it is there and it is vivid and that you have added to it incrementally all the days of this experience and before. 
And so when we say to you, ask and it is given, we're not kidding. And when we say to you, you have asked and it has been given, we're not kidding either. And now as we say to you, you have asked and it has been given and now you've got to find a way to line up with it, we're really not kidding. And when we say, and the way that you line up with it is by feeling your way there, not thinking your way there. You say, you don't think your way there, you feel your way there, you love your way there, you appreciate your way there, you bask your way there. And what's gone wrong with so many of you, you think that creation is about mind. You think it's about dictating what you want clearly. You think it's about emphasizing it and goal setting and writing it down and training your mind. It's not about training your mind. It's about feeling your way to it. It's about feeling your way along the path. It's about following the path of enthusiasm. It doesn't light up visually, it lights up emotionally. So when someone says, come with me, and you think, nah, don't go. But when someone says, come with me, and you think, man, I'd like to do that, go. When someone says, have you read this and you, and you, and you don't feel anything, then, then don't. If someone says, have you read this and you feel it, then go. It, it, it lights up emotionally. It doesn't light up mentally. It lights up emotionally. It feels good. It feels good. But you see, it can't really light up in that big way and feel really good if you're not up here high on the path. In your mode of appreciation, it lights up in such a way that you want to scream, hell yes. But if you're over here in despair or revenge or anger or even frustration and overwhelmment, it doesn't feel like that. It just feels better. It's the path of least resistance. It's, it's the thing that feels the best from where I am. You've only, your choices are not fabulous or horrible. Your choices are which feels better and which feels worse. And it isn't until you really get yourself consistently in this mode of feeling wonderful that it lights up in such a way that it just knocks you over. You got to be thrilled at the idea of your abundance, not discouraged that it hasn't come yet. You got to be thrilled at the promise of the future before the promise of the future can be yours. You've got to be so excited about your um, impending wellness that you're not worried about your current illness. It's mood, it's attitude, it's vibration, it's creation. Everything else is regurgitation, you see. You are creators and you create through your emotions. So what you think has a feeling response because you're over here as source energy thinking and you're over here as a physical human thinking. And so these thoughts are converging and you're having an emotional response about how well they match. So Source says unequivocally all day, every day, I love you, I love you, I love you, you are lovable, you are worthy. And when you think, I'm not smart, I'm not good, you feel the discord of those thoughts. So as you start loving yourself more and loving yourself more and loving yourself more and loving yourself more so that you love me, you love me, I love me, I love me. Now there's one vibration going on relative to that subject. When you find someone and you choose them and make them your enemy and you say, you have wronged me, I hate you, it's bad what you've done no matter who they are, sources over here never feeling anything even close to that. And when you are feeling that, you've caused a separation. You must bring yourself into vibrational alignment with what the source within you feels. That, that that's why it is all an emotional game. So when we say that you have already become this prosperous being and you've already become when that time that you spend in your mind thinking about that beach that you want to spend time on, that has already been achieved. And you just have to not do that thing you do that takes you to a place that's different from that, you see. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.